Hello everyone, welcome back to Factorio using the space exploration mod pack or mod or whatever. So uh, we have finally got our science going up in, up in orbit. Let's take a look at that real quick. So up in Novice Orbit, we have finally got this entire facility going. I eventually want to move this part here, the space science, over to here. Just so it fits with the rest of them. And that we can have this place to, you know, put more labs in, probably. But we are loading in a ton of science. We could probably expand these labs, too, definitely. Um, like I said, fill this entire area with labs. Um, the next thing I want to do, the problem up here is power. You can see we're, we're not meeting, we're not satisfying. We're not meeting, not meeting the requirements. So, there are new solar panels available, which I have not been using. These flat solar panels. They require multispectral mirrors, which are new. They're space science. So, let's go ahead and make a little production line. of these new mirrors, these new solar panels. And let's say we want to create, say, 0.5 a second. Just to have an idea of, of what the requirements are. So that would require multispectral mirrors, which we'll have to make with all this stuff, because we don't have iridium yet. Now, all of this is stuff that we have access to, except for this chemical gel chemical gel we make from cosmic water and petroleum gas in space that's simple enough okay um pyroflux smelting <laughs> all these things i guess we could get these i, I kind of wonder if they might make things easier we're gonna get them all i'm not gonna worry about it Avenger we're gonna run out of we're going to run out of things to research before we get to the next research. I'm almost sure. So let's just queue them up one by one. So yeah, but all this, all this requires is petroleum gas in space. So I think this is very doable. And the recipe requirements are not very um, exorbitant either. It's just a couple. Just a couple of these space manufactories. If we wanted to do something crazy, like um, say we wanted to make 10 per second, then we need a huge number, but I don't. I, I just need a slow, steady trickle of these. One per second. Now, let's make it so it's 0.5 so that we can, um, that we can just run, you have one of these things supported by two of these and one of these. That'll be fine. But that doesn't mean we need to get some more stuff into space. We have these things. We have lubricant, steel, heat shielding, and LDS. We don't have glass and we don't have petroleum gas. So I think we're going to add a couple more launch facilities. Uh, actually, is there any more requirements for the panel? Just pour glass and the other stuff we already got. But that is part of it, though, so I should just, you know, add that as a line. And that will make in a... What about... Could I make it in one of these? No, that would still need four. Just to use space manufactories. They're, they're convenient to have just a big block. All right, so we need to have a couple more cannons made. Uh, probably a, not just a couple. How many do I have on me at the moment? And can I make them locally? Do I actually need to go back up to our base? So they need heat shielding, which we're making right here. Right. I do want to do more um, making factory components in space, rather than having to go back to my base all the time for stuff. But, like, for example, concrete, we're not making anywhere around here. Just It's, it's just not happening. We could make it, but it would require an entirely new, um, new facility. We've got a bunch of stone right here. Maybe I should set up some. But, um... Yeah, I think we'll just run home, and we'll just grab a bunch of concrete, and we'll put it in a box down here. Um, then we'll build stuff as we need. Also, things like like transport belts, um, inserters, that sort of thing. We also need to get them kind of local. I've been kind of waiting till we had um, better logistics, logistic tech. 
but maybe we're past the point where we can wait. Do I have good jet fuel? Uh, yeah, that will keep us going. All right, bots, supply me with all the things. All the things ever. That's not very many things. Alright, I came back here for the concrete. Let's turn this off and we'll overfill on a few things. I'll take one more thing. There. Why were we making concrete before? Like, nothing in science uses it. Like, where is this going? Sorry, I'm just... It's been so long. I have to remember why we bothered to do certain things. Is this not going anywhere? Are we not using concrete at all except for locally? When I, like, want to build a machine? I'm looking for anything branching off of this concrete thing. Here it is. So we are using it on our mall because we need it for um, for roboports and other things like that. Okay, that's a fair point. All right, and I was gonna grab some red belts. From right here. We can grab a few more. And Big Electric Motors is another one that we kind of don't have locally. Maybe I'll grab a few of those. Just because they're a hassle to make. We'll have to set up a little production area for them. Alright. So, solar panels is the, the main focus right now. We'll go back up into space in a bit. Um, and set up the actual manufacturing and that sort of thing. I wonder if maybe I should start... Now, look at the zone discovery. Hmm. Search for planets, moons, and asteroids using telescopes. But that's not uh, available to us at the moment. Yeah, just go ahead. Keep getting random stuff. Thermal radiator. That's a thermal fluid thing. Sure. Go for it. I'm sure it'll be helpful. All right. So I wanted to send up glass. We're making a bunch of glass as part of our LDS down here. And mostly it's, it's, it seems like this is not, we're not using LDS very much yet. Um, yeah, what science pack is that part of? The LDS. We needed two per second for something. It was for space science? No. For rocket science? It, no, it is for space science as part of the um, space transport belts. Okay. But yeah, we're not we're not consuming a lot of LDS. So I think we have some excess glass that we can just go ahead and steal. Uh, where should we bring this? 
just over there. We'll make a little area to the south of this one where we can shoot up four potential things of glass. Yeah, let's, let's plan that first, then we can make sure it hits the right spot. Did I not grab the right side? I'm an idiot. Here, take that. Good. Now, first of all, clear all these things because they're wrong. That's all for setting up the stone. And clear all these. Because they're going to be glass. And turn this off. They're all still pointed at the wrong place, but we can fix that when we actually have somewhere to send them. We'll have to come up with a code for glass, but we can handle that. And I think we're going to need at least two just for this one thing. And this was in the wrong spot, so I need to turn that around. And we need a connector back to our, our signal. Looks good. All right, that's class. That's the easy one. <laughs> so we needed to we need to get petroleum gas, which we're producing a lot of, to be fair. Mostly in the form of this cool, um, sulfur and plastic, but we can we can. Uh, run a a pipe a pipeline back to this area and um, barrel it up The lubricant's still being made at the main base. So I think I think we can leave that alone. I don't think we need to worry about that. I am a little worried about um, making about shooting away so much uh, so much petroleum gas that we have we deprive the rest of our factory of it. Like we've we've made some attempts at uh, expanding production and getting more and more oil into it. I guess I should have looked at this first. So yeah, we got we have full full drums here. And do I have an oil drum? I don't think I do. I do. That's full too. So we have excess um excess production at the moment. Although these are not in full use, so We're way over overproducing science um, right now. We don't have the um, the lab areas to actually use it, but that's okay. We'll go and fix that at some point. I don't want to leave science off even at, since it's been off for so long. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring this to our eastern facility. Or the I'm sorry, the, the this one up here. So we've got this facility. We have okay, let me actually show it. We have this area. This is kind of our southeast. This is the eastern one, which is the 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 copper and the stone and glass. And then we have this one over here, which is um, the new stuff, and that needs and that has the steel. And I think we're gonna make this as part of this one. Like we'll maybe put it right here, because we need steel to make the barrels. So I guess I was wrong what I said. We're making it in the western one. <laughs> Do I have any more of these? I, I know I made a few. I don't think so. Like, we're getting all this stuff that I, I probably should pay attention to more. Because it looks like it's this... Better ways of dealing with beryllium, and I don't even have any beryllium. I don't even know what that, what that's useful for. But I'm, I'm. We'll wait until we get to the point where we need to make a next science pack, and then we'll figure out requirements for it. So I want something. I want pretty much the same thing as this, just over here. These are already turned off. Good. And these are being made. And we're going to be shooting up barrels. Actually, wait a minute. I don't need this many for barrels. I probably can just get away with two. So let's just turn these off. Oh, I need that. I'm willing to believe we'll have two places where we need to shoot up barrels. Probably more. But I'm not going to um, build the infrastructure for it yet. So, we need assembling machines. Like this? Oh, it looks like maybe we found a new way. Okay. <laughs> maybe I'm... What I just researched, is that a new way of making iron? <laughs> more simply and I've been sitting on it for a long time okay wait a minute let me just I'm just I'm just very curious iron plate how do I make one of those so they want to make it from iron ingots which we can make from molten iron which we can make from iron ore and pyroflux so 24 iron ore makes 900 then 250 makes an ingot, and then an ingot makes 10. So wait a minute, let me just get that ratio again. So that was 24 makes 900? That's quite a, that's quite an increase. What's pyroflux? Pyroflux is vulcanite. I gotcha. Okay, so this is using vulcanite in order to improve our mineral production from ore. I probably should have cared about this before massively increasing our, how much minerals our base is consuming. But that's fine. Th this is what we'll do for like when we need to smelt stuff in space. Down the ground, we, we could just make tons and tons of furnaces. But... <laughs> It's just kind of funny to me that that's like the next thing we researched. 
All right, I, I was here looking for uh, barrels. So your barrels. And barrels are fast, right? One second. What about filling up petroleum gas? That's also one second. Or no, that's 0.2 seconds. So that's really fast. So I should be looking at this the other direction. Um... These are the barrels. This is filling up. We'll bring some steel down here. Can output right onto this belt. All right, let's get the pipe. Mm. There it is. Sometimes I think I'm trying to be clever. You know, I, well, sometimes I try to be clever. And I think I'm doing well, and I am, in fact, wasting my time. But that's okay. You are going to be shooting at barrels. Uh, of petroleum gas. Good. I was worried for a second that I wasn't there. It just looks a little different. <sighs> and you're off, right? So you're not loading. Good. So we can go up in the space and we'll um, set some places to receive this and unpack it and recycle the uh, excess barrels. I uh, Can I make one of those on the planet? Or maybe I should. Recycling facility. There. Needs red circuits and concrete. So, and motors. So like I was saying, it's one of those things that we don't quite have going on in space yet. What about that biochemical facility? Like, what else do... In our plan, we had... That we were going to use a whole bunch of space manufacturers and then this biochemical facility. So what's that? Oh, this would be a new suit. Maybe. Or, no, it's we have this built into our suit, so we're not even using that. Mining productivity. That would take forever. Don't do that yet. Uh, holmium processing? What's this giving me access to? 
eventually energy science. Nothing new. So that's that's a later on thing. These are just incremental upgrades. That doesn't do anything. Research speed? Sure, get some research speed. Gotta research it fast. What was I doing? Biochemical facility. This one. So it needs to be built in space. Needs LDS, pumps, space assembly machines, and glass, which we now are going to send up into space. So good thing we set that up. Pumps. What do they need? Pump. Nothing. Easy stuff. Yeah, we're adding all this stuff, this pyroflux stuff in. Beryllium things. Yeah, I want to get into that. I'll probably, probably at some point we need to, like... Like, I don't think we're ever going to want to bring... Well, maybe. Would we ever want to bring pyroflux down to the planet in order to um, get more efficient mining? Or would we save that as a space-only thing? I honestly don't know. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I was gonna put stuff in a box, but it's fine to just carry it around. We can make landfill from copper ore? Interesting. Like, instead of stone, I guess you can make it from almost anything. From scrap, even. Where am I? I'm off. I went oh, past my base, didn't I? <laughs> I was distracted. So I wanted to build a recycling facility. that up in the space with us. This casting machine. That's part of the uh, graphics are placeholders. <laughs> That's part of the new way of making stuff. Using pyroflux. Uh, we were actually having trouble with the greens, weren't we? So we can bring them up too. What else do I want to bring up? Maybe do these delivery cannon chests? Sure. Let's make a... Let's grab a bunch of heat shielding and make a bunch of those. They need a bunch of steel. Every time I have to come back and pick stuff off the belt manually, I find myself... I kick myself for not... Just, you know, taking the time to build a little assembly or assembler area where it's going to put make 10 of them and put them in a chest. But no, I have to... Then I be wasting steel. And so I'll, you know, waste my time and everyone else's. One thing we can't do in space right now is we're not, we're not making blue circuits, right? How is that going? So space is relying entirely on, on blue circuits being hand-delivered to it. Right here. Yeah, we also got a bunch. It seems space science is the real bottleneck, which I expected. I think we made a one per second facility for space science. And we made everything else is 10 per second. Mm, 
Mm. Okay. Let's go up into space. Let me drop a bunch of stuff. See if we can get that hauled up. So, uh, swap this out first. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like I, said, like I said, it makes me feel like a failure having to do all this handy, all this stuff by hand rather than um, in an automated way. But that's okay. Oh, let's get our life support from over here. Nineteen. So that's two hours in space. We won't use it all. And I need some sections. Three more. Four more. And a bit more fuel. And I'm at max capacity already. I guess I could... Okay, let's trade out some of this. We don't need to bring the excess fuel in our inventory. We can instead bring more... Um, more motors. How does that look? We able to go? We're one too heavy. Um, I want all these things here. I guess we can make stuff in space. All right, up we go. This is a terrible accuracy. This is nowhere near where I said I wanted to be. Good thing we have a jetpack. I clearly said it put us right here. Oh well. 
Okay. Um, can I make this better? Not really. This is stuck the way it is until we actually move it. I want you... Supercomputer. Sure. You know what? I keep on saying we should do this. I'm actually going to do it. Let's go ahead and move this... Um, make a little area that's going to build these space manufactories. So I probably need to still make one or two extras, don't I? Here. Make some space manufactories for me. It's not going to work because it needs to make the intermediate components, which is going to be a headache. Here. All right. Make the... Um, these. And it's, we're not going to be able to even do this very well because we need this, the processing yet. Yeah, that's fine. These are the next two science packs, so let's just go ahead and research them. Why are you stopped? No blues. Do I have any blues up here? No. We can make them. How many do you need? You need eight. Whoa, where's all the red science? Why is there no red science? Did we screw this up somehow? You're supposed to be sending this? Oh, this is working. What's this looking for? It's looking for nano engineering data. Is that not what we just saw? Nano engineering data. Disabled by behavior. You're not getting any signal at all. Do we delete like a crucial signal or something? Because nothing is getting any signal. You are. You are. You're not. This. When we made this glass, we ruined it. We killed our signaling. Ah, uh, do I even have any bots down here? I don't. I have to go down and manually run a cable myself. Well, we'll do that eventually. <laughs> the things I get myself into, I swear. First, though, um, what I was gonna do? I was going to I was gonna grab some of this from Green Science. The these so we could easily turn them into blues
course, the issue is that our entire iron plate thing just shut down, so we don't have any iron plates up here anymore. Do we have any maybe lingering somewhere? I think we have some in some boxes over here. Every time I try to do a little thing, you know? Just constant problems. And now you're out of those. The space ones. Lubricant is a deal, is an issue. That's why we're doing building this over here. It's conveniently close to the lubricant. I guess we could just build it like kind of right here and then run up, run a belt, or run a pipe. Eventually, we're gonna want to move the lubricant somewhere else. Nothing is ever easy, you know. It's always got to be a trouble. So I want to make these. They require so many things. I mean. I'm not going to make that locally. I'm going to wait until we can get logistics. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just. We'll just struggle our way through it. Like this for a while. <laughs> How many does that need? Four? Yeah. All right, switch back to making just the um, transport belts. Turn that off. Turn this back on. But yeah, everything's got to be a struggle. So is there anything, do I need? Oh, I needed to make a biochemical facility too. I forgot about that. And that's gonna need glass, which we haven't brought up at all yet. Excuse me. We need to interrupt you again. Please make me a biochemical facility. Which means I need to make three of these. And some pumps. Four pumps. And then you also need glass. Do I happen to have any glass up here? That's glass. Yeah. Perfect. All right. You can go back to doing your thing. Red science isn't going anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why would this be stopped? 
Oh, because um, it relies on plastic, which is south of where we're doing our iron, right? Yeah. Plastic, right here. Well, right next to our iron. So this entire entire base here, it probably should be getting resources along this wire rather than going up into the other one. More self-sufficiency. But whatever. Um, we're going to build this first, and then we'll go back down and fix our problems. So... These are the main components, that's the issue. So two of these are main multispectral mirrors with something with an LDS, a glass, and heat shielding between them. Because we're gonna need, no, we're gonna need glass and steel for both. So we should make those pulled in and put on a, put on a line, on a, um, on a, on a, a belt. So two of these with LDS, heat shielding, and lubricant. Well, we need to make the cosmic water, too, which also needs lubricant and water. Do I want to run a belt of water out here? I mean, I know we've got... We have it. We have a small amount of it in orbit. It's just kind of far away. <laughs> I'd have to run it all the way across here. Which is fine. I'll just get rid of some of these solar panels. We're making better solar panels. That's going to be fine. So I don't need to make the cosmic water twice. We'll just use the cosmic water we're already making. And run a, pot, run a pipe of it. So these two are next to each other. And... I don't know, I'm kind of... Hmm. We have to deal with the scrap also. So they have two things coming in. And then the lubricant just completely separate, I guess. I'm trying to make it... I'm trying to figure out the, the layout that's going to make sense. And I don't think there's a good one. I think we're going to have to just make something that's messy. Let's assume that this is going to be the final product right here. So you're going to make the multispectral mirrors. Or the flat solar panel. Sorry. And you're going to be supplied with the actual um, with regular solar panels. And that's the only time we need copper plates, right? So this will have a copper plate thing next to it. And then there'll be a, um, a chemical gel facility next to that. That needs the petroleum gas. Well, how does the recycling facility work? Do I need two of them? Do I need to set it to a specific recipe? I do. Yeah. It's what I want. What I want to break down. We'll let the scrap accumulate in a box for now. I don't care. But the um the the uh the barrels we'll get rid of because they 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 are uh. They're, they're, they stack less. So, how big is that facility? It's big. We could, I'm going to go ahead and put it there and we can use it to supplement our steel for the, 
steel plates. For for this. For the um sword panels. Then this can go right here. And this will be our um this will be our, our petroleum gas. And we need one of these. So this is going to unpack our petroleum gas. And get rid of its barrel. biochem facility right below it this is huge and look at this thing like look at it that's huge now oh, well look at this stuff looks pretty by my lounge New recipe for lubricant using cryonite and just a little bit of heavy oil instead of up from a whole bunch of heavy oil. I need to, I, I do need to get into this at some point. All right, and this is what's going to need the, the cosmic water also. So, okay, that's convenient. We'll have a pipe to there and we'll go and get some cosmic water by running a, a very long pipe through our through the solar panels. And then to the south, we'll have two of these. Hmm, any more more room? More room than that. These are making the mirrors from regular ingredients. And I was going to make a space between them, wasn't I? So, for uh, things to be shot at. Oh, we have to bring the lubricant out here also, I guess. Yeah, that, that's fine. We can make that work. Um, do I need to make these a little apart? I mean, I'm good. I can't just run them normally. It makes sense to have it on this side. And lubricant right there. Ah, let's just move it. Then we can rotate it more conveniently to us. Bring the lubricant on this side, bring the um the this part right across and then under. We'll work that out later. You think this would be easy given that we've set up far more complicated things, but no, it just keeps on becoming more complicated. Anyway, 
So this is going to be heat shielding and LDS. Do I have combinators? Yes. So you are heat shielding. You are LDS. I don't know what you're going to output yet. We haven't. <clears throat> I don't think I've worked out the schema for those yet. Are we pulling in heat shielding up here? We are for the furnaces. What did we use for that? We used cation exchange beads. So we're going to output this as vulcanite blocks. For LDS, I don't think we've done anything, so we have to come up with a new schema for that. How about starting from L? Works for me. That's going to be, do the mirrors. They're going to output over here. Because why not? Let me bring this all the way up to the top. And I'll put it here. Now you got mirrors. We haven't quite worked out where we're going to bring in the glass or the steel plates. That's still an issue. Does, does anything else need green circuits anywhere in this process? I don't think so. Just right here. These, the steel and the glass, we have to work out. Let's set this up first. We have um, another two combinators I need. So this one is copper. Mm 
And this one is the um, petroleum gas. Petroleum gas. As a barrel, though. I can't send the signal for a barrel. <laughs> um, ah, here we are. Now I don't need that many barrels. I need I need a hundred barrels. And I'm just going to use that for now until we have other need for it. <clears throat> okay. We're sending a bunch of signals. <laughs> I could do one right here. But not two. I need to bring in two things. I guess down here below. So this is going to be iron, or no, I'm sorry, this is going to be steel. And this is going to be what? Glass. Yeah, glass. I think eventually we're going to get out of this paradigm. Like, I think this is a great paradigm for science, but I think that... Um, once we once we have all the all the science packs up, we should switch to something where we just bring in one huge source of steel and then just distribute it to like our entire bus. Our entire base. The rest of it. So but this was nice to make this nice little compact research base. This is not gonna work in the future. Cause this is already pretty tedious. <laughs> Uh, what was our what were we doing for steel? What's up on the planet? So I've been using the arrows. So we needed to use the upright arrow. The correctly named one. It's gonna be our next signal. And then you're going to put this um, here. No, that was the glass. There. And this is the upright arrow. Are you getting that? Yeah. Go. Perfect. And we don't have a schema for glass. Again, maybe glass can be text. I like that. Glass. Right here. So you're going to be looking for text plates. 
And you're going to be dropping your stuff. Here. Whoops. <laughs> Did I click wrong? Stop. 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 <laughs> you're going to be dropping it here. Haven't done that before. Try that again. There we go. Here, can I make a repair thing? <laughs> da, 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 da. I need some stone. There we go. And how much is this total? In terms of belts. Space belts. Eight point five and fourteen point five. So less than half. We can just run it on one belt. That was entirely wrong. Alright, that's a bad place for that, probably. Right there. We can just make it work, perhaps. Okay. Uh, you're not actually receiving it, are you? No. We need to set that up downstairs. So let's... Back to the planet. So. You're going to be looking for the signal for a barrel of petroleum. And it's not if it's greater than 500, if it's greater than, um, greater than, uh, 50. Are you getting a, sim a signal? No, this isn't connected either. Are they? So we're getting a signal for 90, for 100 barrels. So we'll have to hook that up when we get back down. There's always something we're missing. Always. Two. Here. And then this was copper. So what's our next copper? Oh, I should turn that on.
All right. So we've done that one. This one's the next one. We just did radiation shielding data. So this is going to be looking for explosion shielding data. And then you're going to output two. Here. receiving that explosion yes you are so you're good to go all right I just need to actually tell it to load <laughs> there we go we're making solar panels at least the bad ones And you still need LDS and heat shielding. We set that up. We just um, didn't set it up on the ground yet. So we're looking for an L. Where do we send up LDS? LDS is right here. Which I think is in the part of my factory that was affected by the glass problem. So it's not going to actually work yet. So you were going to take the letter L. And then you are going to shoot into Nelvis orbit. There. There. Let me turn that back on. Alright, and this will be the heat shielding, which is going to be sending the signal for a vulcanite block. Heat shielding is up here. So this was the cation. This is going to be vulcanite block. And you are going to now this orbit. Here. I always forget that I need to actually turn it on. This one. There we go. So now we just need to get the um, the piping done. Let's go make some pipes. glass here. Good thing we just set up a way to bring glass. That's so weird. So space piping needs wire. Needs copper cable. It's interesting. What are you using it for? <laughs> I have some red science I can just throw right here. Sure. There you go. Alright, here's where we're making the water. This cosmic water. And we need both cosmic water and lubricant. So that's two sets of pipes. Um, I 
suggest we're gonna run him right here. How does that, how do the um, underneaths work? So if you're not going to run at least 10, you probably shouldn't bother with using underneaths. You should just um, use 10, 10, 10 space pipes. Yep, you keep going for a bit and I will start figuring out how we're going to do this. So this is this is where we're gonna need the cosmic water. Yep. That was just a bit too far, isn't it? This isn't even working, what am I thinking? outputs down here. Or I could rotate it around. And this is where the cosmic water comes from. And we can put this like that. So that's the input. Cosmic water comes here. So I do want one of those. <laughs> right and this is the output that needs to go down here get lubricant in by going under it. That, that one we're stuck with. So we do need a couple underneath these at least. We're going to need a bunch of underneath these to get to weave through this area. You ran out of wire? No, you ran out of plastic. We don't have any plastic here, we used it all. So we have to go fix that before we can do that. Unless we have any more in a box somewhere. Which we do. And glass. Uh, not there. Okay. So this is going to be lubricant, this is going to be, um, this 
is going to be the um, water. Cosmic water. Lubricant. Water. I have to admit, it's convenient when the belts just kind of go in one direction. You can just like place the first belt down and then it will just kind of work. It doesn't work that way with pipes. And I haven't even contemplated how we're going to get it out of here. And we have it kind of down here. But this is a mess. Maybe just get rid of the labs for a moment. And deal with, deal with the water and then we'll redo the labs. I just ran out of jet fuel. And we've got military science for days. Why is this stopped? Out of class. Really? I have to make one? <laughs> I really need a mall. I need a space mall. A mall in space.
That's partially done. It looks kind of weird having pipes above ground, but it's just so much more efficient to build them like this. Any more pipes? Maybe you should take this as a good guide for how not to do it. Since you see me constantly robbing my machines for other machines, rather than having supply chains and, you know, it all automated and done in a nice fashion. It's a good example of what not to do. Oh, I need to make them two at a time. <laughs> Expensive and limited range only to be used when required. You can walk over space pipe. So I've noticed. That's a great change, actually. I really do think that's a good idea. All right, now how are we going to hook this up into, a, into our system? This is the water. So here is the cosmic water. Here is the petroleum. Or the uh, lubricant. How am I going to get lubricant out? It's kind of in a weird spot. Um... Wow, we go through a pipe fast. Uh, that's the glass now. I guess the idea is you could use these. I'm. Am I a stupid? Should I be long? Should I be using long straight pipes? Okay, wait a minute. Let's just see this. If I go ahead and just lift all this up, and replace it with long straight space pipe. 15. I think I am stupid. Yeah. I shouldn't just be laying out single pipes one by one. That's the whole point. They made it so that you have to plan a little more carefully. But that's now 30. 
uh, length 30, right? Let me just check. So, the equivalent of using... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is gonna be length fifteen. And it only uses eight pipes. So it you know it's double efficiency. That saves me so much so much pipe. I mean, all of this we're going to relay. We'll still need to use small parts of it, but yeah. Even this is a good, even this is a decent um, improvement. I can spend two space pipes to get something of length three. So yeah, just get rid of like all our pipes if they are not the underground ones, because they those will are we only used when we needed them anyway. Sorry, sometimes I'm a little, um, at least I caught it before the episode ended. Sometimes I could be more clever than I am. So the key now is going to be finding the right pipe lengths for various things. But this is such a great, um, great, you know, understanding of the use case for pipes. Because you never use pipes, you know, well, okay, no, you, you use pipes for filling machines. But I use far, far more pipes just for carrying oil from an oil field to a set of refineries or whatever. And something like this is just a very long pipe that you can make efficiently is absolutely helpful. We need more 15s. All right, the exchange is right here. So like right there, I believe. And then right here. We don't need to be perfect about it. We can just, you know, use as convenient. We're already getting such efficiency gains that we don't need to stress. We could be using smaller 1753, but whatever, whatever.
Let's shift down one for both of these. So we could fit a little better. Like, what brought this on was I was thinking, can I get past this without having to use it underneath? And yes, of course I can. I can just use a five. Right? That's cheaper than using it underneath because an underneath would be ten. A five is only three. I probably could have been using this all over the place. Um, which one's the lubricant? I forget. So the water's the top one. Lubricant's the bottom one. Hmm. We can make that work. Oops. What did I just say? It's the water that's the top one, lubricant's the bottom one. Right? I'm sure I said that, but I'm not that sure. Let's go take a look again. Oh my god, why did it, uh, Why am I so bad? Lubricant is on the this one, which ends up being the bottom one. So lubricant on the bottom, which... Now that I say that, um... Never mind, let's, let's, just, let's move past this moment. And that will have to be underneath. But where are we going to bring it in? From here? So these could actually be running right next to each other if they're offset by one, right? That's, that's nifty. That's really nifty. Being able to just run two pipes next to each other and not have them combine. Oh, wow. Like, I had not appreciated that aspect of this. Um, I think I just turned off my entire factory, but that's okay. It was only temporarily. Mistakes were made. Okay. Please tell me I got those in the right order. Good. You need petroleum gas, but you're not getting yet because we're not we're bad at shooting things in space. But you're getting all the lubricant you need. This should work. Let's go back down this to the planet and fix our mistakes down there. Um, maybe we can set up these a little better. that 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 is such a it's i don't know what it is but for some reason that's really familiar to me i don't know what it is dum di da dum di da dum di da dum what is that 
What on earth is that? It's, it's so familiar to me. I have no idea why it popped into my head. I'm sure it's like from a movie I've seen in the past year or something. Oh, no, I'm, I'm wrong entirely. That's that's um, some of the world's nicest cello music that I got on a disc. Um, the one that I, I watched in a YouTube video recently. It's really nice. Here, let's put some land out before we go back down. That's going to be stuck in my head forever now. <laughs> Which is not bad. It's a nice little, nice little song. Alright, turn this off. Turn this back on. You're getting everything you need. Lubricants flowing. Alright, we need to go back down and fix the iron issue we made. some rocket fuel to go back down. That'll probably do. And our thing landed in this crappy position over here. Ah. Alright, back down the Nalvis. Not here. At our base. Oh my god, it's been an hour and 45 minutes. What have I been doing? How do I let this happen? I keep saying, let's try to aim for 45 minutes. And um, if I'm lucky, I can keep it at the two hour mark. Let's deposit our bad fuel. Or our bad life support. Get that going while we're off. Switch this back to not life support, but robo ports. Get them charging. And the issue was. It was all about green wire. So let's just make some more green wire while we're on. While we're flying down. Excuse me, excuse me. I apologize. All right, fixing our mistakes.
How does that work? Do these, do these have signal again? No. So we still need to get that signal. That one right. There. Okay, now you've got signal. Okay, and we're slowly refilling up all the iron that we... <laughs> It'd be funny if I could be at shot out of space by hovering above one of these. Just get blasted. Alright, what about this? Why aren't you going? Did I just never turn you on? No. Hmm. You're outputting a need for a hundred barrels. And you're checking to see if there's a need for at least 50. But you're not connected. I see. More problems. There. I honestly thought that was going to fix it. Why did it not? So you're outputting a need for barrels, right? It's there, I can see it. But I'm not seeing it here. Why not? Do I have a disruption in space? Yeah, this is only seeing like half part of the grid, but I'm not sure. I might just not be able to um to show all the signals. Like this part here. This part here sees the hundred barrels. And if this part sees it, then then everything should see it. Why aren't you seeing it? Maybe you are? Yeah, it's just set wrong. I am baffled. It, can you just not carry enough signals on this one particular? Like, is there a limit to how many signals you can carry on a single power line? So coming straight out of this, I I don't see. Oh, wait, no, it ran out of power a moment ago. Yeah, huh. It's not there, but I, I could have sworn we would have reached it before now. Like, there are other signals that are not here. Like, all the copper signals aren't here. Almost. But they're all firing, right? Like, I'm only seeing one copper signal here. But... These are supplying, they're working. I might have... Hmm. So 
So right when we're sending the signal up here, that doesn't have it. I think we broke something in when we when we installed our pipes. Yeah, we broke the entire southern half when we installed our piping right here. This 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 thing isn't going. When I moved this, when I moved that I broke it. We have to go back up into space to lay a single no actually can we can we somehow work our way around that? <laughs> Um. Here, turn that off. Turn that on. Switch this to making a passive provider chest. From uh, to making a steel chest, and then making a passive provider chest. Which needs red circuits. I'm, I'm sure I have red circuits. Why aren't you loading? Because you've got the wrong thing. There, now you can load. And then this turns around. <laughs> and put that back and then let's say we want to build one of those where do we put our green right there this is so so not the right way to do this uh, it was one of these right this one Oh no, wait a minute, this is the wrong type of chest. Um I need I need this to be this one itself needs to be red. Um Do I have any inserters in a chest somewhere? No I don't. Okay, let's try that again. Can we make a regular chest? Alright, and then we're gonna make a passive provider chest. But not there. We're going to load that, and then we're going to output it to here, because this is a passive provider chest. So now we can then use these to turn that into one. There we go. And then you can turn all these into one. And now I can run some wire by bot. Between that to there. I did that wrong. Did I not even need bots? Could I have just... Okay. It seems so. Yeah, I could just copper cable my way to it. Okay. That's a very long cable. It goes all the way from there to there. So I didn't need to do that. That entire thing was just for... Bunsies. Here, turn that back. Alright, that got started again. Uh, you're not going. Why not? Lack of iron? Your signal is the Naquium energy data. Is that getting through? Yes, at two. Okay, we'll, we'll go look in sp at the ground in a moment. Is this going? Yes! We've got mirrors! And scrap, I forgot about the scrap. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then, and then the scrap's going. Yeah. Okay, um... Am 
I'm not sure we're going to be able to fix that from the ground. But we can try. Forgot about the scrap. We're so close to making a full mirror. Maybe... <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Or a full solar panel. But it's ready to go. We have it kind of set up. We just need to deal with the scrap. Build a little, facility, build a little chest right here with a, um, a stack filter inserter. Can I just... I can. I can just say I want to... I can place any blueprint I want. Okay. That's convenient. Okay, so you're gonna help it to build at least the one. I don't have an output for this either, I didn't think about that. But hey, now we have flat solar panels. It is done! Here, bring me home. I think I could have, um, from space, ran a green wire. It seems to, it seemed like it was allowing me to do it. I'm not quite sure why you can run wire by satellite, but I'm going to accept, not question. We have science going again? It seems like it's going pretty slow. 46%. Show me a bigger number. Alright, we were gonna look at that. There was like there was a problem with the naquium. It wasn't pulling in iron. Now it is. But we're having, yeah, they were having trouble with engines right here. This is just having trouble. Where are we shooting up the Naquium? Should I have looked at that first before coming back here? Iron. Iron's all full. Which one's na the Naquium data? This is Hyper Lattice. This is Nano Engineering. Oh, I bet Naquium is up here. Is this Naquium? No, that's that's hmm. Where am I shooting up Naquium? Hmm. Oh, that's it. So this is still not working. Yeah, we still have disconnect. For some of our... Well, wait a minute. Is it just a power issue? Because this looks like it's all turned off. Yeah, the entire thing is turned off. So it's a space problem. With you not having enough energy to transmit. Occasionally. But you're receiving all the time. The electricity is just low. It's a good thing we're making some solar panels. Here, let's go back out to space and start laying out a few panels. Sorry, this is going on and on. I know it's um 
I wish I were better at doing this too. To space! Land a little bit better this time, please. That's... that's better. Well done. Uh, I need to get stuffs. can have these. Science. So this is what I'm really looking for, logistic system. So I think we might beeline for utility science. Utility science requires cryonite rods. So cryonite we're going to go to before pyroflux, I guess. It'll be nice to get that. In the meantime... Just, um, get random stuff. Adaptive armor, sure. Uh, I need uh, a box. I need a box. Oh, and I need a filter. I need some greens. Which we have right here. That's not at all what I wanted to do. I guess, no, that, that works. I just need to then see the filtered part of it over here. And then you need to output into another box. Uh, let's move the box down one. Why can't I cue that? Hmm. Copy it. Uh, 
All right, we have solar panels. Oh, I forgot to change this out. Oh, I I left my um, okay my efficiency of life support down on the planet. So we'll have to we're we only have another half hour. That's fine. We're not gonna be up here that long. Look at them, they're so much prettier, aren't they? Don't you just love them? Maybe I'll lay out something like this. Can I fit two of these right between them? Yes. Uh, this works for now. Not sure if I have the robo porch to actually do, populate those. Okay. So how is that affecting our power balance? It's going up. I mean, that's like the right direction. But really, it's just not going up that much because we're just meeting demand now. We're, we're satisfying demand. But as we expand, we'll um, do more stuff in space. Now we have the power to back it up. And isn't it lovely? I just like the looks of these so much better than the old solar panels. Anyway. I think we'll stop here at the two hour and ten mark ten minute mark. So thank you everybody for watching. Until next time. <laughs>